Hello everyone, welcome back to Creative Events platform. Today we'll be talking about the style that you are seeing here today. All right. So what I need to do or what I did because I did this out of camera is that I used uh, the breast pad. Sometimes we call it um, what the breast tube. You know that thing they used to pad the breast, the bl the blouse, so that the boss can like come out for this traditional blouse now. So the breast pad, or we call it welding. So that's what I'm using. And then I just use hot iron. So because I used iron to like stick it to the material, I did not really show that part. All right. The measurement of the material I have is about uh, I showed it just now. It sh should be about 24 or 25. Yeah. So, but I'm not going to use all. What I have here, what I have here, I'll be using it to make two uh, separate caps, but I'm just working on it together. All right. So, after sticking it together, the measurement I used, I said, is 25. I think it's 25. Though, this measurement does not matter. I will give you the final measurement when i will take the resize i will be using i'm just using this to prepare it because i'll be using it for two all right so what i did right now is to turn it over with another uh bridal satin because the uh breast tube or whatever i use is not meant to be showing so i need to turn it over with satin and that's what you see me doing quickly there so to turn it over with satin, I need to sew at least three parts of it. You know, it's four corner now. I need to sew three parts of it, and then I will leave one part opened, just like what you are seeing now. This part that is opened is the part I'm going to use to turn it out, you understand? Because if I don't leave any part open, then I will not be able to turn it out. Is that okay? So right now, when I turn it out... I'm supposed to iron. Yeah, so when you are doing yours, there is iron close to you. Please do iron it after turning it out. It will make it to be very flat and also it will come out very well in what you are doing. So what I'll be doing is that I'll be using one one inch to sew all through yeah, the lines. I'm just going to create that design on it. Just using one one inch and then I sew. All right. Okay, so the next thing I'm doing is that I'm going to create the the band that is the the first part of the turban, the band. So what I'm using is about seven and a half by eighteen. Yes. So because I intend to create at least, I intend to create at least two plates. Mm? So like you see me doing now, for each one because I have two. I intend making a V front. So for each one, I will create two plates before I will cross the V. Is that okay? So I will create two plates and that's what I'm doing. I've created the first one. The next thing I'll do is I'll fold the next one. If you have iron, the better, just iron. And then I'll sew it. And again, if you know that you cannot be so accurate with what you are doing, you can also work with your pin so that you can be sure of what you are doing. Keep it in line before you sew. Is that okay? All right. So this is how it will look. I'll just trim off the excess uh, part quickly. And then, yeah. So this one is ready. I'll prepare the second one. The second one is ready. So I will cross it like this. Remember I said... 18 18 inches by 7 that's what i used but if you feel you need big plates you can work with 10. so right now you can see i have reduced that uh cap that i was doing i have reduced it so what i have here what i have here is seven inches by height seven inches by height and then by uh, length length is about 25 is that okay 
25 by 7. So you can go up to, you can go as low as 5. It will still be beautiful, yeah. I decided to work with 7 because I just felt like I needed height. You understand? So you can work for convenience. You can work with 5. I think 5 is perfect. Then if you really want to go low, 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 you can go 4. But I don't think you should go 3. 3 will just be too low. Yeah. So right now, I'll just use my machine. So I'll quickly use the machine to run it through. That is attaching the band to the turban itself. That is to the cap. This is a different uh, method of cap. It's very different, but it's beautiful. So you can see what I have there. It's just like that. It's unique on its own. So since I'm not going to sew it together, this is to enable it size anybody. Is that okay? and it can also help for adjustment so i'm just going to use my hook and loop on it so that with the hook and loop i can close and open so i'll quickly attach my hook and loop again the length of the hook and loop you use depend on your length on the length of your yeah is it length? Depend on the height of your cap, the height. So since my height is seven, I can actually work with six or seven as well. Remember that there is band. So because of the first part of it there, it's already more than seven, is that okay? So I can work with seven, I can work with six, okay? So quickly, I will use um, my machine to attach it, but this is what I will do. Remember, it needs to be able to stick to each other. So you can see the way I have fixed it. One at the back, one at the front, and then you can just cross, cross it this way, belt it this way, and the cap is ready. Yeah. So since the cap is ready, it will be time for me to design this cap quickly. And I, I'm just making a very quick style. I'll be making bow, bow, yeah, for it. So the first length I have here is 24, I think. 24, yeah. And then I'll be working with just one length of 24, which is what you are seeing here. And then I'll be working with three lengths of, what's that length? I'll be working with three length, uh, three pieces, yeah, of 12 inches, eh, 12. So the first, the longest length of my bow is 24, and then the three short ones I'll be using, they are 12 inches each. Is that okay? Yeah. So this is what I'll do, just turn it over, and then sew it together. Trim off the excess part and then I'll simply fix my crinoline to it. I'll show you the crinoline. So this is the 12 inches. This is the 12 inches. I have about three of this separately. I'll be working with three of this separately. 12 inches, three, uh, 24 inches, one. But if you know you really need more, 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 more of the bow, you can do six. You can do any number, whatever pleases you. Sometimes I can double it. So this is the Krilone, and this is a three inches Krilone. I'll be fixing it inside. Okay, did I measure the width? I said 12 inches for uh, length, but I worked with the width. That is wideness of six or seven. So that by the time I fold it, I can get three or almost maybe two and a half it will still size it so maybe i'll get three after folding or two and half or above two and a half but not up to three so that it can be tight you can see how that one is now it will be tight it will make the material to be shiny so when there is too much space you will not be able to achieve that is that okay all right all right so i'm ready i'm done fixing my crinoline inside the uh, material so now it's time for me to finally style it and to style it i'll just be closing the edges together okay here is something i just want to like bring to your notice when you want to style 
when you want to style okay i just want to show the length remember i said this is 12 yes so it's 12 so when you want to style you can fold outward the line the line you use to join it's a kind of design as far as i'm concerned or you can fold it inward it depends on you completely so you can fold like this so you can see the line there or fold inward where you will not see the line it's is all it's it's all uh design yeah so type of design so i'll just close the edges together for the three i'll close the edges the way you see me closing now just close the edges so after closing the edges i will show you how to fold so i'm done closing the edges and because i want to use this straight that's why you see that i close the edges like this i want to use it straight yes so this is how i fold just fold it into two equal parts and kiss the edges pam fold it into two equal parts and kiss the edges or you can just fold the edges down like you see me do now pam optional so it's what you like but for me for me i use my the first method fold it into two equal parts and kiss the edges I don't know why, but I feel like it comes out mm, better for me. Oh, it comes out better for me. So it's your, it's your choice what you decide to do with yours. So from now, just uh, watch the remaining part of the video, how I go about styling and every other aspect of it.
all right if today is your first time joining or seeing this channel please do subscribe just press the notification bell so that whenever i, I upload new videos you will be the first to know so thank you for stopping by this will be all for today's tutorial and i do hope you actually enjoyed the class and i also know that you can do better is that okay so i'll see you in my next video each video promises to get better please stay tuned to this channel i love you i cherish you every one of creative events platform lovers i cherish you thank you so much for all the views and everything yeah so see you in my next class for me it is bye and please don't forget to subscribe <laughs> bye okay see the finishing yeah beautiful gorgeous yeah bye